Hey guys, it's Sarah from Alcoin Bus Lady. So today we're gonna talk about Stellar and its recent developments and news and partnerships that have been surrounding this top 10 crypto. So market cap at the moment of the video is 266 billion. Bitcoin is staying strong over seven and a half thousand with a point not five percent change, positive change in 24 hours. Basically, it's it's red and there is a sell-off and I've not gone to the bottom of it what's actually happening. So if you guys want to leave a comment, then that'd be brilliant. Let me know why you think the market's jumping right now. So Stellar is currently on position number six. It overtook Litecoin. Charlie Lee made a massive post congratulating Stellar this achievement. So before we get on to the news, I'm going to say a bit about the history of it. So in 2011, after selling off the infamous exchange Mt. Gox, Jed McCaleb turned his cryptocurrency efforts to devising a new currency. Dubbed the Ripple Protocol, McCaleb sought to grow like a transactionary cryptocurrency that completed blockchain consensus by members on the network. With that, the parent company Ripple was formed, which led to the creation of the token XRP. However, McCaleb's run with Ripple was quite short-lived, and in 2013, he left his active role with the company in search of new ventures. In 2014, using what he had learned through the development process of Ripple, McCaleb started the non-profit Stellar Development Foundation, which eventually led to the creation of the Stellar Consensus Protocol and the XLM currency. So I hope that wasn't too boring and let's get on to all the amazing news that I had recently. So we're gonna start off with Satoshi Pay. So with the market prices acting like a pretty much living roller coaster that we're experiencing today, the crypto community turns to the latest infrastructure development and news on collaborations. And for some days now, Stellar has been receiving exclusively intriguing news, I would say, and here comes another information that Stellar's partner, Satoshi Pay, is getting ready for initial public offering on AIM, a submarket of the London Stock Exchange, basically. The London-based company that processes micropayments transaction aired that it decided to get listed on AIM in a bid to improve the company's growth and it is believed that the listing will help the company raise development capital. So now I'm gonna quote the CEO of Satoshi Pay, Mainhard Ben, who said that this is a giant leap for Satoshi Pay and I am extremely proud that the startup I co-founded in 2014 has grown into a company that with the support of an amazing team and fantastic investors is now approaching a stock market float. This is beyond my wildest dreams when studying Satoshi Pay by writing a few lines of code at a kitchen table in a Berlin flat. In a way, we're just getting started. I'm looking forward to the things we can achieve by taking Satoshi Pay public. So this is a great news and this is only the beginning of what I got prepared for you guys in today's video. So if you're enjoying it, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Welcome Best Ladies. So now we've got the IBM. So just a week ago, I think it was, the tech giant IBM announced that it is working on its stablecoin and the coin will be supported by blockchain technology while running on Stellar's blockchain. The event will surely hoist Stellar's institutional adoption and its credibility. And I've got an exact explanation of what actually is going on and what's going to be achieved on Forbes. Quoting, the introduction of Stronghold USD as an anchor on the Stellar network is a significant step forward for cryptocurrencies. This is because instead of Stellar trying to compete with chartered financial institutions, they were able to include them in a productive way that is beneficial to everyone. Already, this asset has usability on IBM's blockchain applications since an asset like Stronghold USD has the stability that is re requisite for big name players to make transactions on a blockchain platform. Since Ripple does the opposite of working around traditional financial institutions, this has limited its success. Adding the Stronghold USD asset to Stellar capitalizes on this weakness and this will make some serious waves in the blockchain and fintech industries in the coming weeks, putting Stellar into the spotlight. I mean, it doesn't get any more bullish than that, does it? But I've got two more news about Stellar, so stay tuned, guys. And now, transfer to, which is like the first throw competitor against the blockchain firm Ripple and its token XRP. Stellar steps the cross-border transactions game up and transfer to announce its partnership with Stellar to boost international money transfer. This way, send and receive in over 70 countries will be very completed, very speedy and very efficient. And last, but 
definitely not least is the Coinbase announcing that it will explore XLM and other coins as options to be listed. And obviously, as Ripple followers are out there, they go really salty when Ethereum Classic got announced. So you can only imagine how frustrated, probably is the best word, they were when Ripple wasn't actually being added and they'd chosen their competitor. So I'm assuming everyone knows about those five tokens being Cardano, Basic Attention Token, Stellar, Zcash and OX being added onto Coinbase. Okay, not being added, considered exploring the addition of the following assets as it's quoted over here. So guys, what do you think of all those recent developments of Stellar? Have I forgotten about something big recently? As you all can see, there is a lot going on currently for Stellar and that basically reflects in the price. Stellar has been one of the biggest gainers in July. Stellar is currently trading at 26 cents and it's down two and a half almost percent in 24 hours. It's all time high was at the end of the year. I will not get the exact price and I don't remember it from my heart, but it's as you can see over 80 cents. So it's down significantly however it's not as bad as some of the cryptos have been and you guys can see that's exactly what i'm talking about this is what's been going on with seller it's gone down from its all-time high and it bounced back again then it dropped again and now it's back up and the reason for it's basically all those amazing partnerships and news development updates is staying very vocal out there not like some of the cryptos that are still projects in development and no one really knows what's going on with them. So you can get Stellar from Binance, Upbit, Coinex, Polonix, Kraken. I swear KuCoin recently has also listed. Yes, there we go. We've got KuCoin, Stellar, hit bit to see. It's widely available basically and it's not a problem on getting it. So it's not professional financial advice, I'd like to point it out as well. I'm just summarizing all the recent events, news, updates, developments that have been happening around XLM token. And guys, if you enjoyed this sort of a content, follow me on Twitter at AltcoinSara, where I post lots of different things, news, updates, and basically whatever's been going on in the world. Speaking of Coinbase, they allowed UK customers to pay and withdraw in pounds which means it won't take as long right now for taking profits to actually arrive into your account, which is great. Let's not forget about following our Combust Lady. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and let me know what you'd like me to review next. I'll catch you all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.